So my NVIDIA Shield Pro running the latest version, as you can see now, after receiving the latest update, my device just seems to be extremely sluggish. So navigating around, moving through the menus, there's just so many different things on the home screen now with these large scale adverts, lots of this sponsored content. And really my home screen just looks like a big cluttered mess. Now, is there anything you can do? Well, you can see on my device, I can now press one button on the remote control, three, two, one, and I'm now taken to a custom launcher, giving me complete control of my home screen, where I can now have custom backgrounds, I can have custom application tiles, I can move things around, I can hide applications, everything just seems to be super snappy, I can access all of my applications, my official applications, and all of my side-loaded applications, everything is now presented directly for me on the home screen, and of course, without seeing any of those adverts, any of those sponsored content, my device just seems to be instantly snappier. So in this video today, let me now show you the easiest and fastest way you can customize your NVIDIA Shield or really any Android TV or Google TV device. In a couple of clicks, you can also enjoy a super fast, super lean, super clean home screen. All you need to do is just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, Let's get started. If you're new started. to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so I'm doing my demonstration on my NVIDIA Shield Pro, but you can follow this process on any other Android TV device or any other Google TV device. Now the entire process is going to be three quick steps. First, we're going to enable some developer options. Secondly, we're going to download two applications. One is a custom launcher, which in this example, I'm going to use F Launcher, but really you can use any launcher that you like. The second application is Launcher Manager, which is really the easiest and fastest way to disable your stock launcher and use a custom launcher. And the application was developed by Swinwolf. And the last step is I'll show you how you can customize the F Launcher, how you can tweak it, how you can optimize it, and really just get the most from your home screen. So let's do step number one, which is to enable those developer options. So if I go over to my settings, let's click on that. And now go down into device preferences. Let's click on about. And where it says the device build number, you can see that here. I'm going to press the select button here seven times. You can see on my device, it tells me that I'm already a developer, but on your device, if you're doing this for the first time, after the seventh attempt or seventh key press, it'll tell you that you are now a developer. Once you see that, you can now press back on the remote, go to the bottom of this list, and we should now see the developer options. Now, these can potentially cause complications on your device. So unless you know what you're doing, I would not recommend playing about with the settings in here, but the two main things I like to do in here on the NVIDIA Shield is to firstly enable network debugging, which is used by Launcher Manager. And secondly, I also like to tweak some of those animation settings really just to give you maximum performance. So let's do that now. If you scroll down, you can see under debugging, we have network debugging. So by default, it's set like this. You want to turn this on. Now, if you are doing this on another device, like maybe the On 4K Pro, or maybe the Google Streamer, or maybe the TiVo Stream 4K, or maybe any other certified Android TV device, if you don't see network debugging, then go for USB debugging. You can turn that on by the NVIDIA Shield, or really wherever you see network debugging, you want to go for that option instead. So we can see mine is now turned on. And the other option I like to do in here regarding the animations, keep scrolling down. And this is something that I do on all of my Android devices because it really does help speed up just navigating around the device. So we can see the window animation. I'm going to turn mine off. Transition animation. I want to turn mine off. And the animation duration scale, I'll turn to 0.5. The reason why you can't turn that off is because this then impacts certain applications like Downloader where the mouse starts jumping from corner to corner. So to avoid that, set this to 0.5. Okay, if I now press back, and you can see straight away, guys, because now those animations have been disabled, we do seem to get more snappier response just in the home screen. Now, let's now get those two applications from our website. So I can now open up Downloader. You can use any browser that you like, but let's go for Downloader. And we can now make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com. Or you can type in the short code 53402. Let's type that in and click on Go. Now, when you get to my site, if you head over to the hamburger menu, which is one with the three lines, let's click on that, click on tutorials, 
And the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can get a custom launcher working on your Android TV or Google TV device. So let's open that up. Here we are. So here we see the step-by-step -step instructions. I can scroll down. You see some of the benefits of having a custom launcher, which I'm sure all of you are already aware. And with all of that, we'll have a link to a few files. So here we have Launcher Manager, which was created by Sween Wolf. And this is the application that will disable your stock launcher, allowing you to then select a custom launcher. And underneath that, we have three custom launchers. But as I said before, you really can use any custom launcher that you like. So let's click on the Launcher Manager first. I can then scroll down and you're looking for this green download button. So let's click on that and then click on Install. That's all done. Then go back and install one of these custom launchers. Once you've done that, let's now press the home key. Okay, so we've got the two applications installed here. We've got F Launcher and you've got Launcher Manager. Let's open up F Launcher first. Now, when you open up your F Launcher for the first time, you won't get this kind of layout. It'll give you the standard layout where you have the TV applications at the top. Then you've got your non TV applications below that, but it is super easy to customize. I mean, some of you may prefer just to leave it like that because even in that layout, yes, you do see all of your applications. And of course, you don't see any adverts, any sponsored content, and you can now quickly launch whichever app you like. But if you do want to customize it a bit, like maybe add a custom wallpaper, maybe add some custom sections, it is super easy to do. So if I go over to the settings, let's go there now. So the first thing we'll do is we'll add a custom section. So let's go to or category. Let's click on that. Let's say, for example, I want to add a category called uh, TD UK because I want to have a section for my Android TV apps like the TD UK App Killer, like the TD UK DNS Switcher, all which are available directly on the Play Store. So give your category a name. That's fine. And we can see by default, it takes it right to the top. But let's say I want it below streaming. So I can now click on the down arrow next to TD UK. Below streaming, that's fine. Now, how do we add applications to this category? Well, if I press back on the remote, let's go to applications. Now, really, it's as easy as finding the app you want to add. Let's say I want to add in the app cache cleaner. Let's press the plus button there. And then it asks you, where do you want to add this? Well, let's add it to TD UK. That's now done. Let's also add in the app killer. That's now done. And just for a quick test, let's also add in 2B TV. So press the plus, choose a category. And just like that, you've now added it to that category. Now you can also customize the category if you want to change the size, the way it looks. So let's press back. Let's go back to categories. And this time next to TD UK, let's click on the cogwheel. Now we can customize the sorting. For example, instead of manual sorting, you can say alphabetical. Now you can also select the type. Is it a row or is it a grid? Now, if it is a row, you can also customize the row height. So if I don't want it to be 110, I can make it 150, which is obviously very, very big. But maybe in your particular setup, your TV setup, you may like to have very large icons for certain categories. But let's make this really small. So I can either do size 80, which makes it quite small, or you can change the type into a grid. And let's say I want to make it really small. Let's go to size 10. And we can see those icons are now really small. So you can see guys, super easy to customize, very easy to tweak and modify and get your home screen looking exactly how you like it. Now let's also customize the wallpaper. So let's go to wallpaper. You've got a couple of options here. You can use a gradient. You can upload a custom wallpaper, but I like to get mine from the internet. So let's go to unsplash. Let's say for example, I'm looking for some animals. Let's click on animal. Gives you a nice eagle there, so very easy to do. Or let's say, for example, I want something uh, a bit more landscape. Let's click on that. And you can now just see a really nice wallpaper there. I did notice on F Launcher that the first time you do it, it doesn't seem to show the wallpaper. But if you exit out of F Launcher and go back in, select the wallpaper again, that will then update properly. Press back a few times and you can now see a really nice, clean looking wallpaper. Okay, that's now all set. How do you now customize your home button so the next time you press home, it doesn't go to the stock Android TV launcher, it opens up F Launcher instead. If I press home now, you can see it takes me back to the standard home screen. Well, this is where Launcher Manager comes in. I can open that up and you can see it says current launcher is Android TV Home. So if I now click on enable custom launcher, you'll see this prompt here. So I can now click on always allow, click on allow again, but this basically uses ADB to disable the stock launcher. So the next time you press the home button, it will ask you which launcher do you want to use. So 
Let's do that now. So three, two, one, go. And there it is, guys. I can now choose whichever launcher that I like. So I've got a couple on here, but let's just go with F launcher and let's select the option for always. And there you are, guys. So now anytime I open up any application, let's open up um, Downloader. And the next time I press home button, three, two, one, it'll take me instantly back to the custom launcher where again, no adverts, no sponsored content, just a really fast, really snappy, easy to use, clean looking interface. So I'm definitely happy with that, especially with some of those changes coming from Google TV, where the home screen just looks so messy. I do think having a custom launcher really is the way forward. That's pretty much of this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Lots of you are asking for the updated guide or the updated process, or really the easiest process on how you can use a custom launcher in November, 2024. I do think with what I've shown you today really is the best way to do it. Really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.